What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to talk you through mute groups on the SP404 Mark II. Now I'm actually amazed that I haven't actually done this yet but I think it's been mentioned in other videos that I've uploaded already but in this video I just want to solely focus on it. I'll show you guys how you set them up and how it kind of works in general. So I'm still seeing comments from people saying they're waiting for the Mark II. Some people saying they're gonna to have to wait till August this year. It's absolutely crazy guys. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Obviously there is absolutely nothing I can do about this situation. There's some sort of supply related issue going on whether it's because of covid and the sort of queue that's formed because of that or whether it's a supply issue from roland i really don't know what's going on with this situation i just hope that these devices get to you as quickly as possible because i want you guys to be getting them you know i'm part of this community as much as you are really and i want you guys to be using them and coming to me with problems and working together to sort things out and come up with interesting hacks and and tips and all that kind of thing so it's really devastating for me to read these comments saying you guys are still waiting for them i just really hope they turn up soon so hopefully while you're waiting this will be a good little video to get you in the mood for the mark ii again so obviously we've got all the banks as we used to on the sx so i've got loads of different beats in each bank usually work one beat per bank still that's still kind of my workflow at the moment and mute groups are really easy to set up all you've got to do is shift and eight and this brings you to this menu here. So you can see here it's labeled A to J. Now this is a little bit confusing because obviously also the banks are labeled A to J as well. I just wanna point out that there's absolutely no correlation between the two. So you could have more than one mute group in one bank. You could have A on the mute groups controlling something that's happening in C, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all kind of unrelated. So you don't need to worry about the letters. The letters don't correspond to each other in any kind of way. I kind of wish they would have just chosen numbers for this. I think 1 to 10 would have just made a lot more sense because then you can just see what mute groups you're using inside of the letters rather than it being the same. I don't know. So yeah, there's a little bit of confusion there, but all you really need to know is that they're not related at all. They just use the same letter structure. So you can scroll through with the wheel here and you can check which pads are in which group. If you're on that particular bank, they will flash up. So you could see there I'm on C. I tend to only ever have one mute group per bank because I'm doing one beat per bank. It will only be my samples that are mute grouped against each other. So I tend to use the correct corresponding letter for whatever letter bank I'm in just to add even more confusion to this situation. But yeah, I only tend to use one mute group per bank. So I always do it in the same bank letter. I just think it makes sense for my workflow. So you can see there as I've got to see the pads have started flashing to show that they're in a mute group. So you can keep doing that and scrolling through and see which pads are in which one. You can see there in G, I've got a lot in there. H, I, J, nothing in J yet. So if I go to C, you can see here it's saying I've got one, two, three, and five, which is obviously absolutely correct. And if I want to add or remove a pad from that collection, all I have to do is hit the pad. So there you can see it's taken off one. And if I want to add that back in, I can just press that again and it becomes part of the mute group. So it's really, really straightforward. Obviously, the only thing is it is manual. So if you want to get rid of all of them, you do have to press all the pads. And then if you want to add them all, you have to add them all as well. I haven't found a way to add every single pad in a bank with one key combination, for example. Maybe you guys know something about that. Those of you that do have this device, I'm pretty sure you just have to go through and do this manually. So there we go. That's pretty much how you will be managing your mute groups jumping in and out of shift eight quite a lot using exit to get out of that and yeah we'll be scrolling through with the value dial that we now get with the mark ii so super super easy to do you can also scroll to cancel and cancel out of it as well using the value dial so the behavior obviously as well is very straightforward you will play one pad as soon as another pad in that group is hit then the other ones will cancel so this is an example <laughs> So nice and straightforward. One thing that I do with my mute groups is I always take the gate off. So that means that you don't have to keep pressing the pad while you're trying to make a loop. You don't have to keep holding it. You can just hit it once like that. The only thing is with this method, obviously it may not end in the correct point that you want it to. Say if you wanted to end the beat that you're making and you wanted it to just go to silence, you're not gonna be able to do that with this unless your pad that is the final pad in the sequence perfectly tails off. That's the only downside to this. So if you are messing around and you want all the sound to stop, the best way I think to do is use the old trick from the SX and just press record. And that cancels everything and you just press exit. 
or what you can do is just slam exit like we used to on the SX as well. That also stops the sounds. If you don't use gate, it just makes things a little bit harder and it's actually pretty pointless if you don't use gate, I think, because you're gonna be going to another pad anyway when you're using gate, you're probably gonna be doing something like this. That kind of thing. So there's not really any point in using a mute group if you're not gonna take gate off. Obviously it works in exactly the same way. Hopefully you could see there that I was still holding the first button, but I'd already pressed the second one and therefore the first one stopped playing. So yeah, for optimum results, I take off gate. And another good tip as well is you may want to record a pad that has some silence on it. So let's go ahead and record this onto C6. Let's just go record, six, record. And there's gonna be nothing on this pad. It doesn't matter how long that recording is really either. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add that to the mute group. So I'm gonna go shift mute groups and I'm gonna to go to C again. And I'm gonna hit six to include it. And what this means you can do is go straight to silence. So I'll just show you exactly how you would do that. You can just use that silent pad in the mute group to mute everything. So if you wanted to pause in your beat or if you wanted to just finish the track abruptly like that that you're making, that's gonna work very well for you. That is a good tip and I'd highly recommend getting used to that kind of workflow of having a, uh, a blank pad in there. It comes in super useful in all sorts of different situations. The one last thing that I wanted to mention is that you can have up to 16 pads in a mute group. So if I go ahead and go to J, so I've recorded a load of silence onto some of these pads to fill this out just to show you guys this one. So if we go to shift mute group, what bank are we in? We're in E. And you can see there we can go all the way up to 16, which is really nice. Lastly, actually, what I will just show you is having multiple mute groups in the same bank. So let's say we want to do two mute groups. Say we want one for drums and one for samples. If you've chopped the drum loop and you want it to have a mute group, this is a situation where you're probably going to have to have two mute groups in a bank. You'll have your samples at the top. You'll be mute grouping those. And then you have chops of a drum loop and you want them to cut each other off as well. So that might be a situation where you need two mute groups. So I'll just show you quickly how that works. You go to shift mute group and let's say, well, we're in B here. So let's add these in, we're adding one, two, three, and four. And then I wanna add another mute group. So I'm gonna come out of that and I'm gonna go to shift mute groups again. And let's just choose J for this. And I'm gonna add 13, 14, and 15. It's still quite useful because here you can see, although I'm in mute group J, it's actually showing me here that it's pad B13, 14, and 15. So you're always gonna know which pads are in that mute group because it just shows you right there on the screen. So super nice and easy to do. Obviously, if you do need to then find what these are in, what mute group they're in, one, two, three, and four in B, you do just have to scroll through, but eventually they will start flashing like that. So it's pretty straightforward to find them. You're only gonna have to search in a maximum of 10 places. And with this value dial, it's really quick to go through them as well. So yeah, super simple to do. So I hope that's useful, guys. I hope that shows you exactly how mute groups work. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below. Again, I hope these Mark IIs turn up super quick for you guys. It's so annoying reading the comments, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Let's all just keep our fingers crossed that these start getting out to you guys very, very soon. Don't forget you can support what I'm doing here. I really, really do need the support this time of year. It's very, very quiet. So if you can hit the shop and maybe pick up a beat pack, and I've also got links to my t-shirts as well. I will start featuring those more in videos very soon, especially the vlogs, so stay tuned for that. But yeah. Any purchases at this time of the year are really, really appreciated. I do realize that it's a time where not a lot of us have got money just after Christmas, but if you can spare a couple of pounds to pick up a beat pack, that would be really, really appreciated. Keep leaving the comments like you are, keep doing the thumbs up, I really do appreciate it, and keep those subs coming as well. It's amazing to see the growth of this channel, and we're gonna just keep going all through this year as well. And I'll leave you in the same way that I always do, guys. Keep making beats on whatever device it is that you own at the moment, and I'll be back with more content very soon. Peace. Peace.